What's up, winners? Welcome back to another video at Stay Winning Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you're here. Today, we're recapping the Cardano NFT market week 11. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Thank you for the support. We're currently at 391 subscribers. My goal is to get to 400 by the end of the month. Also, I'm doing a giveaway of an Alley Cat NFT. So all you have to do to participate in that is subscribe to this channel. The winner will be announced at the end of the month. Again, thank you for your support. Let's go ahead and begin the video with the price of Cardano over the last seven days. So it's in the green. We started the week at 32 cents. It's currently at 35 cents. All of that has to do with Bitcoin carrying the market. Bitcoin is over 27,000 today. I honestly don't think we'll ever see Bitcoin below 20,000 again. That's just my opinion, not financial advice, but check it out. Now, let's move on to what everyone was here for, which is the NFT market. So over the last seven days, the Ape Society, they continue to make splashes all throughout the Cardano community. Congratulations to that great project. So they released their passports, citizens of the Ape Society, and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, but currently they are the top project over the last seven days. The Ape Society remains in one of the top three spots. I'll also be briefly mentioning Goofy Gophers since they're new when it comes to the top collections on the Cardano market. All right, so Passports Coda, Citizens of the Ape Society. This is actually a really great concept. You can stake your place in the Ape Society as a citizen, connect any NFT from any chain, and read the benefits from the cross-chain society landmark ecosystem. So if you're on Ethereum, for example, or Solana, you can stake your NFT through this passport and earn society. I think that's really cool. I think that's really great. Uh, this is what the passport looks like. The floor currently is at 293 Cardano. So if you're looking to get into the Ape Society, this is a great entry level to join that magnificent project. Now, let's move on to Goofy Gophers Mining Club. It's the first NFT project to expose the masses to diversified cryptocurrency mining in a fun, gamified way. They have a vision to make mining as easy to access and decentralized as possible. This is just the foundation of the project. So I think they made a really good choice with going with Cardano. Out of all the projects out there, I mean, out of all the blockchains out there, Cardano is one of the best ones when it comes to simple staking. Currently, the floor on that is 305. This is what the art looks like. So I really like the background colors. Pretty, pretty neat. Let me know in the comments below if you think you'll be, if you minted one, or if you're going to be picking up one on the secondary market. So currently, the floor price on that is 305. Now, let's go into some statistics here. All right. So over the last seven days, the peak volume is a million. So again, that is up from the previous two weeks. I'll go ahead and link those videos up for you to check them out if you have not. But it's really good to know that this is heading in the right direction and there's more volume. Again, over 1 million uh, Cardano um, was the peak volume uh, that took place this past week. So in total, 4.8 million Cardano, almost 17,000 trades, almost 22,000 NSTV sold. So again, that's really up there compared to last week. So an 18% increase, 11% increase on the trades, and the volume is up over 30%. Now, if we go into CNFT jungle, statistics, the top sales, again, the Ape Society remains at the top when it comes to a top sale. So congratulations. Gophers as well is on there, making the list for one of the top sales over the last seven days. Congratulations to both those projects. I thought they both deserve to mention in this week's recap. So according to Jungle, the market volume, 652,000 Cardano over the last seven days, with the market volume of 225,000 over the last seven days, and if T sold 1,700. Let me see, that doesn't seem, that doesn't seem accurate. Okay, so actually, it looks like on the left, it's just giving me the 24 hour volume, not the seven day volume, um, but that's why I show you both CNFT Jungle and Open CNFT IO. All right, winner. So 
that's it for this week's recap. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to participate in winning an Alley Cat NFT. You can follow me on Twitter for more details. But again, just leave a simple comment, subscribe, let me know that you're here, and you have a chance to win one. I'll be announcing the winner again at the end of the month. Thank you so much for your support. Stay 